Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Today, I will be comparing the old versus new S-Class. On the left hand side, we have the W222 S-Class, the facelifted one, versus the new W223 S-Class, our press car. And on the left hand side, the S-Class by Beresa. We are right now at Mercedes-Benz Beresa in Münster. Also big thanks for the opportunity to film here. And in today's video, I'll be doing a comparison video, starting with the front, the sides and the rear of both cars, plus the interior and giving you a final resume, maybe also driving it out, deciding which one to choose, old versus new. So let's just get started. Talking first about these cars, on the left-hand side, we have the S560, the W222 S-Class. This is not the long wheelbase, a normal one. We have the AMG line and Smaragd green exterior paint. On the right-hand side, we have our press test car from Mercedes, the S500, also AMG line, Onyx black exterior paint uh, with some nice looking rims. Both of these cars have a nice beige and cream interiors. We'll also show you that later on. So let's just get right into it and start talking about both fronts of these S-Classes. On the left-hand side, the old one, beautiful and elegant looking W222 S-Class. And on the right-hand side, the new one. Let's just talk about the old one, the front. Guys, honest comparison video here. The old one looks very, very nice and decent. We have these three LED lines showing us that this is the S-Class, the nice full finish chrome grille and the front bumper giving it a very sporty touch. We have the Mercedes-Benz star on the bonnet as well as on the new one. The new one looks way more sportier. It's so much more dominant. We have slim headlights as we have with almost every model. We have this LED line, the three LED torches showing us that this is the S-Class. The Mercedes-Benz star, the grille is way bigger than the old one as you can clearly see, which makes it also makes so much different and the front bumper looks almost like an amg which makes this so much more sportier so to give my opinion regarding the front i love the way the new one looks i really love it i would also prefer the new one the old one is still very elegant timeless design beautiful front but for me it's definitely the new something that i also don't like about the new s-class is that you have the front camera integrated in the grill so you can actually see it which destroys the entire symmetry i don't get it with the old one you have the front camera hiding inside the grill it's actually this part i guess which then pops out as soon as you put it into drive or want to park it which is way better than this what would you say guys now let's talk about the side of each of these cars and there's something very very essential and it's the door handles on the left hand side the old s-class had normal door handles as you can see but with the new one we don't have any the seamless door handles as soon as i swipe they just go out and as soon as i lock the door as i did now they move back in let me just unlock the car there we go and then you instantly have them moving back out also just a side fact on the new one we have the rear axle steering which we didn't have with the old one which makes this car drive so much better now let's talk about the rear and for that let's just move both cars let's go so now it's time to talk about the rear guys just have a look we have the old one on the right hand side and the new one on the left hand side guys i'm honest with you i'm still not convinced about the new rear because with the old one look at this we had these three led lines plus the stardust effect just look at this this looks so nice on the s class which made it look so much more elegant but on the new one we have these LED pins, 116 of them, uh, integrated in the tail lights. And with the old one, you could instantly see that this is an S-Class because you had these three lines. But with the new one, it's very difficult to see. But I figured it out as soon as you have a closer look, you can see that you have three LED pin rows. You see that? One, two, and three. This shows that this is the S-Class, but you really have to have a closer look and really know about it. But with the old one, it was so much more easier. Honest 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 review guys i prefer the look of the old rear this has so much more s-class dna and looks so much more beautiful i like the way you have these small led pins and the dynamic light movement but the old one just looks so much better what do you guys say just leave it in the comment section below 
So now it's time to focus on the interior. We will be starting with the new one, guys. Look at this. Full cream interior, beige leather trim, lovely, plus bright wooden, brownish color, matte finish, gorgeous. Let's just step inside. Let me give you a look at this. First things first, guys, everything is new on the new S-Class. The steering wheel, the dashboard, the new display, the start-stop button, the vents, all the buttons, even the ambient lighting, the active ambient lighting is new. Let me just start the ignition, just have a look at this. Wow. I love the look of the new ambient lighting, but something I have to say, guys, I won't be giving a look of the interior. We'll be doing that in a different video. But something I have to say is that they are definitely missing the emotions which you had with the old steering wheel. The analog clock is missing. Just putting a display inside doesn't make an S-Class, guys. I love the way this is very futuristic with all the tech, it's the latest one. Big improvement also with the new and updated MBOX. But still, as you look at the right-hand side over there, it's just plain wood. And if we didn't have the wood, it would be piano. And I hate the way this looks. It's so empty on the right-hand side. I would love if they also integrated the display in the front dash or something to make it look way more S-classish with a nice line on the dashboard, guys. But still, I actually like the way it looks, but I don't love it like I did with the old S-class. So guys, what do you say? Do you like the new interior? I actually like it, but as I said, I don't love it as I did with the old one. And talking about the old, let's just get right into the old and let me show you something that you've all been missing. And here we have it, guys. Look at this beauty. Let me just get right into it and let's have a closer look on the old S-Class interior. Let me just start the ignition. As soon as we do that, we have the nice animation. Again, the ambient lighting turning on the exact same color on the left hand side on the new s class we have the wooden trim in matte finish here we have it in gloss finish guys oh yes i love this i love this this was actually the time i fell in love with the brand mercedes-benz as soon as i saw the new s class back in the days and as soon as i saw this interior just look at this we have these lines we have the full leather dash and just look at the leather it looks so much better than the new one you see that this actually looks like leather we have the nice stitching here but something that's essential is the analog clock just look at this guys i actually miss this what a shame that mercedes left it out on the e and s class we have these nice air vents we have the beautiful line just look at this 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 moving line and this design element on the right hand side which i've been missing out on the new one lately that's exactly what i miss on the new one you just have it a plain movement but here you have these beautiful lines which make you feel so much more comfortable also on that interior here full beige trim with the amg steering wheel if you had the amg line you could also choose the optional amg steering wheel which doesn't even make sense as this is not even an amg i love the way this looks we have all these buttons here back in the day i also prefer buttons than the touch display because you have this haptic feeling for example if you want to set the volume you just move that you know so much more satisfying and cooler than if you tap around on a display what do you say i think i'm getting old now because i actually prefer the old interior but still the new one is just amazing the tech the futuristic interior i still think that both interiors are amazing but with the old one you instantly fell in love which you didn't actually have with the new one we had a splitted opinions on the new interior but i think in the following years people will start to get used to it and start loving it especially with this interior trim we have with our test car but all in all what do you guys think old or new interior just leave it in the comment section below can't wait to read all your comments
drive inside the old S-Class is so much harder, way more stiff. It's not as comfortable as with the new one. And plus the old infotainment system is very laggy. It's yeah, it's outdated and you instantly miss the latest MBOX infotainment. But as soon as you see the analog clock, you forget everything. I actually love this. The ambient lighting is also nice, but not as intense as we have with the new one. So there are some pros and cons. As we don't have the starter generator, you instantly feel it. I mean, driving the other S-Class, the new S-Class is way easier than this one. As we also have the latest rear axle steering with the new one, it also behaves like driving a compact car. This one is actually drives like driving a street yacht. It's actually the same as driving the old versus the new G-Class. It's the same feeling as soon as you switch. The drive inside the new S-Class is way smoother way easier because first we have a mild hybrid here we have the starter generator integrated in that s-class supporting the engine with another 22 brake horsepower which is very very useful also we have the rear axle steering which makes it super easy to drive especially in the city which we didn't have with the old one but yeah i love it Also something I love about the new S-Class is the updated MBOX guys. Shout out to Mercedes-Benz for making this infotainment system, for creating such a responsive and easy to use infotainment. Perfect fit. You see that render of the S-Class here, 3D render. It's super, super easy. And we have the home button as we had with our smartphones, all the gadgets, the settings and else. It's so easy to control. So to give you my final, final resume, guys, it's not about liking something and hating the other. You can actually like both, and that's what I'm doing. I like both, but I need to get used to the new one, especially with the rear, but all in all, lovely. I think the new S-Class is such a great improvement, but still, I will be missing this beauty right here. It's an ending story of that, and I guess most of you guys enjoyed it. Now it's time for the future. Comments and opinions in the comment section below. Looking forward to read all of them. At this point, also big thanks to Mercedes-Benz Beresa in Münster. If you need any information or are interested in buying this car, just message them. We'll be linking their Instagram in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you all a great day. I will be back. Bye.